Hi, this is Russ Jeffers from MobileBurn.com and AndroidAuthority.com and here I've got the new HTC Wildfire. It's a uh, new Android device running uh, Android 2.1 with HTC Sense on board as well. And it's aimed at the lower end of the market. Uh, despite being the uh, cheaper device, it's uh, still got some pretty decent functions on it and features. Uh, it's got a 3.5 inch capacitive touchscreen display. Um, it's only a QVGA display. Uh, so a bit lower resolution than some of the other devices we're used to from HTC but it's still a pretty decent looking screen um, also some touch sensitive buttons underneath that here an optical joypad that we've seen on some of the new devices uh, and different proximity sensors and things as well by the screen uh, I've got an on and off button at the top there and also a 3.5mm headphone port for uh, listening to your music with a normal set of headphones there's even a 5 megapixel camera with a flash on the back as well uh, and a micro USB port as well for charging and data the phone also has GPS and Wi-Fi, uh, and all the usual bits and pieces you expect from a new Android handset. Um, but as we say, it's sort of aimed more for students and things, and features a few new different applications as well. So some of the new apps that HTC is showing us today on the Wildfire uh, include this new app sharing app at the top here. Basically, you can open that and you can send your friend a text message, um, which just sort of links you to the uh, apps that you have on your phone. So say you've got a cool app you've downloaded from the Android Marketplace, you can use that uh, particular function of this handset to send a text message with a link uh, included on it so your friend with an Android handset can just tap the link and open it to uh, download the very same app. HTC have also included a flashlight app which is pretty neat. Uh, basically just gives you a little flashlight here as you can see uh, and allows you to uh, use the LED light from the camera to give you three different uh, brightnesses of flashlight to see your way around the house or if you're out and about. So that's pretty nifty as well. So there's a couple of other funky new applications on the HTC Wildfire. Uh, first of which is they've separated the gallery now, the photo gallery, from the video section. So uh, your videos and gallery are separate, which is quite nice. Uh, we've also got this transfer data app, which allows you to transfer data over from your old phone uh, when you first set up your uh, new handset, which is pretty nifty. Um, also, as we've seen on the Desire and the uh, HTC Legend as well, you can use the sort of pinch to uh, find your different home screen of HTC Sense. So you can press the home key there or you can make a pinch gesture on the screen as you can see and pick the uh, particular home screen that you want to zoom to. So that's a pretty neat feature and it's nice to see it on this uh, lower end handset. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we've also got this uh, optical trackball at the bottom here. So you can uh, move around the screen using that and then select something by clicking the uh, ring around the outside of it. So again nice to see that on this lower end handset. Uh, and then these touch sensitive keys which are not hardware keys, you can see they're flush under the screen, they don't sort of protrude or anything. So that was a quick look at the new HTC Wildfire. I'm Russ Jeffers from MobileBurn.com and AndroidAuthority.com.